Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is a collaboration with Amy from Brock and Beauty and a bunch of other YouTubers. They had, Amy had did a live stream and they came up with Dozen to Donate. So Dozen to Donate is obviously like 12 things to donate and you can pick your favorite charity or I suppose really it sounded like you could pick wherever you wanted. Um, you had the option to actually just go show yourself dropping off the items. However, I'm not due to go back to the city for like another three weeks. And this stuff will be going to um, a place that I, vo I volunteer at a clinic every month. Um, it is a clinic that is for substance abuse and mental health abuse, uh, not abuse, mental health and substance abuse. Um, so for anonymity purposes, I'm, I'm not going to actually show myself going there. Um, it's just by HIPAA laws, I really cannot do it. Um, and I just wouldn't want anyone to do it if I was there and, you know, the roles were reversed. So, you know, um, Greenwich House is a very nice place in, um, <clears throat> Greenwich Village village in Manhattan. So that is where this stuff will be going, just like everything else I donate. And um, yeah, so the only problem is a couple of things are already in my trunk. I um, <laughs> I didn't expect us to get so much snow, so it's a little bit cold. And I wonder if I could show you guys the streets. They actually just cleared, but um, yeah, I didn't anticipate my truck to be covered, so um, I want to get this video filmed. It is Sunday morning, and I spend typically a few hours with Nick, and then I drive him back to Brooklyn and or our train station to get back to Brooklyn to go to work. So I want to get this um, done and ready because if I'm not mistaken, this has to go up in a couple of hours. So generally, I don't film on the weekends. And I, I don't know what I was thinking. I thought that the 18th was going to be Monday, but whatever. Here we are, so this is what it is. Um, so, yeah, just some basic stuff, you know, like, I think the frame was gorgeous. I got that at Kohl's years ago. Um, this is adorable for, like, you know, some oil and vinegar for your table. And then I had gotten this at Dave & Buster's, um, but this and a couple of these Actually, this all came from Dave and Buster's, with the exception of this a girlfriend had given me a coworker, um, but they were with another, you know, relationship, so they need to go. These I got at Holler.com. I wore them once. Um, they are for pedicures, so I'm sure one of the ladies will enjoy those. Um, this is actually a surgical, uh, like a corset, a surgical wrap. If you were to have maybe some sort of stomach surgery or something like that. So no use for it here and I don't want to just throw it away. Um, and then of course boots that I got to wear all of like once that do not fit my fat ass anymore. So I think they're nice. And of course one of the ladies there can use it maybe going to court or um, a meeting or job interview and then I have a ton of these Samsung phone cases I was at one point I think because I had so many we were gonna like maybe try to sell them but so I have Samsung 4 the Galaxy 4 um, Galaxy 3 and they're just like the flip cases if you can see some of them have oriental writing on them some of them are English um, still in the package like in the sleeves so whatever maybe somebody could like DIY like a little wallet or something I think I kept like two of them and that's that the rest has got to go so um I'd say there's like a dozen right there but um there's no use to even keep them and then uh I do have a really nice juicer in my trunk um it works I just don't use it it's quite large so for as much as I use things like that I can just use this nice blender that we got. Um, so there's no need for me to keep it. And the same with a Keurig. Um, I'm not 100% that I'm going to give the Keurig to the uh, to Greenwich House only because I don't know if anybody there really has a home, sad to say, to keep something like that. 
So the juicer and the Keurig might go someplace else. But um, yeah, and then of course this is just stuff that I always bring. Um, I have a ton of poise. Those will probably go with some uh, robes to a nursing home because that's not so much for younger. I mean, not that it's for, not for younger, but you get the point. Um, then just some suave and soap and that stuff needed to be in the box. So that's is what it is. So yeah, guys, um, just some basic household stuff. And it's amazing. I didn't even have to, I went in one cabinet and I was able just to kind of like look, scan real quick because I really need to go through a lot of stuff and it's so overwhelming and so much work that I just don't do any of it. And I was able to get all of this stuff from one area. So I really need to, at some point, just take maybe 20 minutes out of my day and start really organizing. Because imagine that I have all this stuff and I, this isn't even my home. Oh, it's crazy. So yeah, all right. Hopefully this was enjoyable for you guys to see what kind of stuff I've accumulated and that I don't mind to give away. For me to just stare at it, stockpile it, and never see it or use it is such a waste. And there are so many people that I know that could benefit from it. A lot of the women there have children. They don't get to see them often. So when they go on a visit, it would be nice to bring them a stuffed animal. So yeah, there's just, you know, a lot of appreciation that I know um, will come from these things. So, all right, everyone, um, that is my dozen to donate. And thank you, Amy from Bargain Beauty and all the other ladies. I will link everyone in the description box. And that's that. So give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.